Over eight years on Brookside, your character was the target of more than her fair share of the slings and arrows of outrageous soap fortune. And uh, here tonight, fellow Brooksiders who've been through it all with you, Dean Sullivan, Paul Usher, <laughs> Simon O'Brien, <laughs> Michael Stark, Claire Sweeney and Bill Dean. Sullivan, Sue is a friend indeed. Sue is one of my dearest, dearest friends in the whole world. And if I can just give one example of how much she means to me and what she did for me once, which was particularly special. Uh, one weekend when I was staying with her, I wasn't feeling so good. And by way of cheering me up, because it was quite close to my 40th birthday, she organised a secret lunch which she made herself. Uh, rang round lots of friends and got them over and they all arrived with presents and so on. She even managed to get a birthday cake for me. And it made me feel, Sue, so special. And that's what a real, true friend does. Your loyal, your generosity of spirit is unbounded. And anyone who can say that they've got Sue as a friend is very fortunate. And that's why we love you. Brookside was, of course, the, the brainchild of Phil Redmond. Uh, Phil, Sue was vital to your plans, was she? She was probably more vital than I let on in those days because she probably would have asked for more money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this business is crazy and every now and then those little bits of magic come along every now. And I remember that day that you came into the Playhouse rehearsal rooms, remember when we were doing those auditions? And as soon as you walked through the door and walked towards me and uh, watching, I knew that you were Sheila Grant, you know. It was such a... Such a piece of magic, really, that, that whole thing. And Dean's done the thing about the friendship, and we all, we all share that. And I'd just like to say it's a privilege being your friend, and it's actually been a real privilege working with you over the years, you know, and I hope to do it again soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. In uh, 1990, your character Sheila remarries and leaves the close for a new life in Basingstoke. The character sharing that drive into the sunset was Billy Corkhill. And thanks to you, I could travel in style by plane too. <laughs> Here's Billy, John McCarthy. <laughs> So, John, you really did take off into the sunset together. We certainly did, yeah. We went to Italy and we ended up accidentally being there together with oh, our families, right. do you remember? Yes. And we met up in Florence or somewhere. Yes. And then we found out we were on the same plane going back. And remember? then we had to wait. We were late, weren't we? Yeah. We were, we were embarrassed because the plane wait, was waiting for us. We got on the plane and then Kath had left their handbag oh, yes. in the foyer, so <laughs> it had to wait while they went and got the handbag. <laughs> and then when we got on, you entered the first class. And I went into the economy, the cheapskate that I am. And, uh, and then the, the steward came up and down and he went, why aren't you with Sheila? You should be in first class with Sheila. <laughs> so they brought us up to first class and we had champagne with you, didn't we? Yes. But it's great working with you, Sue. Great. You're lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Playing your husband in the royal family is well qualified for the job. And you're spot on for your role too, your majesty. <laughs> for six years, he was your first Brookside husband, Bobby Grant, Ricky Tomlinson. <laughs> So, Ricky, Sue's a cut above. It's because of Sue, I am what I am today, penniless. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, Sue is a trained actor, as, as most of these guys are over here, and I didn't have a clue, cos I'd Robbie. come, more or less, one, one job off the building site. And so she didn't know my cue, cos I couldn't learn me lines, and, and, and she used to just have to get a word in edgeways and say, I know what you mean. And she covered up for about five years for me, so... <laughs> I owe you about 20 quid for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 
the, the nicest thing I can say, because it's genuine, is I just think you're one of the finest actresses I've ever seen, and obviously worked with. God bless you. Thank you. Another Brookside stalwart has a lot to thank you for as well. Uh, she's filming in Deepest Kent at the moment, but she didn't want to be a silent witness. She sends this message, Amanda Burton. Hello, Sue, darling. Well, <laughs> it's a far cry from those heady days on the close, but here we are in another exotic location. Sue, you are wonderful. You're special. You're just a big mama, really, to so many, many people. And you've been there for me so many times in my life, good times and bad times. And I just want to say thank you very, very much indeed. You're a great lady. Lots and lots of love to you from me and from your goddaughter, Phoebe. Mwah. I'll see you soon. Bye.